You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane. Today I'm going to show you the difference in uploading the different images in Cricut Design Space. Uploading them as a pattern or as an image and as a print and cut or just a cut. So this image was a PNG and I uploaded it as just a cut, not a print and cut. I can still use it as a print and cut, but this is uploaded as just a cut. This is the same image, but uploaded as a print and cut. As you can see, it has different colors. This was an image of bats that I painted, so it's not just solid black, where this one is solid black. Now each of these will cut out each little bat. I don't want it to do that, so I'm gonna show you how you can change to not do that and how to upload it as a pattern. So let's go to the upload image. First, I'm going to show you how I uploaded it as an image, and we're going to click on Browse. Let's go here so we can see them. This is my Elvira Digital Paper Set. Um, this is also a PNG. This, these pumpkins are kind of just like the bats. They're individual pumpkins that I, I didn't actually paint these. I did them with markers. I drew it with a marker and colored them in with markers. And then these are the pumpkins on different colored backgrounds. Let's get to the bats. Where's the bats? Here they are. So this is a PNG and this is it as a JPEG. JPEGs have a background. You cannot do a clear background with a JPEG. So let's click on this. We're going to upload this one and hit continue. I'm going to leave it as a complex image. Now, because it's a PNG, it has a translucent background, as you can see here. You could use the magic wand and get rid of these little parts of them that were on the edge of the paper, if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. Now, even though it doesn't look like it, it is a very complicated image, because it's set to cut out each little bat, and there's lots of tiny cuts in the bats. They're not just a simple image. So this is how it will be as a print and cut. And I know it's hard to see, but as a print and cut, you'll see different shades, just how it was in the image. Some will be black and some are gray and they have a light outline to them. You also can't see that here. And then as a cut image, it will not look like this. I am still in beta. <laughs> it will look like this, but each one will be black, completely black, because it does not keep the inner colors. It only shows you the outside cut line. Okay, so I'm going to save this as bats and Halloween. Just if I wanted to look this up later, I'll be able to find it in my images. So let's click Save. Then just click the image here to bring it in to insert the image. And you can see I brought one in as a print and one as a cut. So you can see this one is the cut one and this one is the print image because you can see the different colors in it. Now I would not want to cut each one of these out. So what I'm going to do is put them on the paper just where I want them. And let's zoom out. Put a box around it, just drag a box around it, and then flatten. It's attached to the bottom layer and it will print as one image. They will not print out and cut separately. This will cut out the square only once you flatten it. And we can do the same with this one. I'm going to make that a little bigger. It's the paper, it's just playing with the size. My screen recording stopped recording. Here's where I left off. What I did is I put a box around this and flattened this as well as when I did this one. So let's talk about inserting patterns. I'm gonna use the same image and insert it as a pattern. So we're gonna upload image. Now instead of going to this one over here, I'm going to go over to the right where it says pattern fill. Upload a pattern 
and browse just like before. Okay, we're gonna go and we're gonna get the bats again. Okay, where's the bats? And this time I'm gonna upload the 12 by 12 PNG. I like to upload the 12 by 12 images because they will fit better in your images and you can zoom in and zoom out. They just fit better. So as a pattern, we're going to click Halloween, and I guess that's pretty much it. It certainly isn't a wedding. Unless you're getting married on Halloween, let's do black. Because this is a PNG, it's a very large file, and it takes a minute to upload. That's normal. And the upload patterns are not found here. These are not patterns. So I just click over here on the upload image to get rid of that. And here, this has to be a print to be able to find the patterns. So if this was a cut, you can change things right here. If you just click on it, see how it says cut? Now it's a cut shape. There's no way to put a pattern in it. You have to change it to print. So you just have to click print, and you see these come up. So let's change the pattern. And here is our uploaded patterns. So I'm going to click the bats. Let me scoot this over. This comes in, even though it was on a blue square, it comes in white. Because that's how the patterns work. The patterns do not come in with a transparent background. You can edit it by clicking on it again and then scrolling down to the edit, and I've shown this in some other videos that I've done in beta, so if you haven't seen those, click up here and I'll put the playlist of all the videos showing how to do all the patterns, edits, and everything else. So you can zoom in, and you can zoom out. So I just wanted to show you the differences in uploading an image to cut, uploading an image to print and cut, and uploading a pattern. An advantage to the pattern fill that you can't do with uploading the images. Let's insert a shape and let's do the star. Okay, we got a star. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's fill the star with the bats. We can't do these because they're not the shape of a star. They're just that shape. You can't really fill it in. So let's fill it in over here. In order to fill in, we have to change it to print. Let's see these patterns pop up when I hit print. And let's put in the bats. See? Now we have the bats here. And then we can also edit it. So that's one of the advantages of the pattern fill. So that's the differences between the Upload image to cut, upload image to print and cut, and uploading a pattern. If you're interested in any of these digital papers that I showed you in this video, you can click the little eye up in the upper right hand corner and it'll take you to my website, MelodyLaneDesigns.com, and you can purchase the Elvira digital paper set. This is for my Halloween set for 2015. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe so you can get more on the new updates for Cricut Design Space. If you want to know more about Pattern Fill and the new update, click the I. There's a playlist of videos all about this new update. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you, and I will see you in the next video.